Hey, what's going on? This is the angry blue sock with a rare deer angry. Imagine that. Now, I've gotten a couple of private messages saying, where the fuck have the deer angries gone? You should do more deer angries. Guess what? In order to read letters, uh, I have to receive letters. I only have three in my inbox, and one of them has to fucking be answered be me and Groover, who's not going to be here until next week. So, keep writing. I love the jukebox request, don't get me wrong. But, I miss you guys. You don't write. Send me some private messages, of course, but nothing meant for this. I mean, I'm only as good as you guys are when it comes to those. Now, as far as what to expect for the future, I'm actually working on a couple of song parodies that should be up in the next month or so. Yeah, I said month! Deal with it! I'm fucking busy! Well, let's get to the two letters I can't answer. This one comes from Lovable Baca. Writes, Dear Angry, what do you think of Snuffy? LOL. Hmm. I don't really think much of him either way. He's a big, brown, hairy douchebag of an elephant. Always walking around stoned, like, Hi, bird. Hi, big bird. Somebody should freaking mainline him with some cocaine or something. Wake his ass up. Snuffleupagus. The thing is, he was pretty cool when nobody really believed that he existed. But once they just all of a sudden decided to break the continuity, and all of a sudden everybody just happened to realize that Snuffleupagus was an actual living creature and not just a figment of Big Bird's fucked up imagination, then he just became another freaking elephant. Before that, he was like a mystery. He was like, boom! Booyakasha! I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to go with it. Now, I have another question, also about Sesame Street. This one comes from Anthony D. 46 Dear Angry, thank you for answering my previous letter. From watching them, I see you hate Grover a lot. However, what about the other Sesame Street characters? Do you ever want to choke Ernie with his rubber ducky? Stab Bert with paper clips? Or just punch Elmo in the face? And who's the bigger grouch, you or Oscar? Now, as far as that, the only Muppet I really know in any way at all is Oscar the Grouch. I never even met my own father. The thing is, for those of you who haven't been paying attention, when I was conceived, before I even had the ability to speak, I was thrown to a fucking dumpster, which just so happened to be where Oscar was living at the time. Now, yeah, he told me all about it, showed me a picture of my dad, and, by the way, besides me and Groover, there is nobody on Earth who looks anything like the three of us. What does it tell you? Hmm? I think it makes sense. Oscar was not bullshitting me. Now, Oscar is cool as balls. He's pissed. He's actually more pissed than I am, because I still have things I like in life, the only thing he likes is trash, and, I don't know, I mean, maybe he does. He'd be happier than I am if he wasn't bothered by the other fucking Muppets, but he is, all the fucking time. They're crawling up his ass like a worm outside of his freaking garbage dumpster that he lives in was crawling up his asshole if he was sleeping in there naked for weeks. You know, like homeless people have. So, he can never really be alone with his trash to really enjoy it. And by trash, I mean porn. He loves trash. Now, as far as everybody else, I would like to beat the fuck out of all three of them, actually. Choking Ernie with a rubber ducky? Well, yeah. I mean, he sings about, Rubber ducky, you're the one. Who gives a fuck? It's a goddamn rubber ducky. Get over it. But speaking of rubber and poultry, you know that Bert chokes Ernie with his rubber chicken. And by that I mean cock. Yeah, he takes it in the ass. As does Bert. They like to tag team each other. Switching off, one busted nut. Okay, I busted a nut. Now I'm ready to take it in the ass. 
They just dusted it up, Bert. I'm ready. And they keep it up for hours. Hours. This is what Oscar told me. At least, I believe him. I don't know if you do. But fuck him, huh? I mean, as far as stabbing over a paper clip, I'm an angry blue sock and all, but isn't that a little harsh? That shit would have hurt. I mean, you ever get a paper cut? Imagine a paper clip going into you. Won't kill you, it just, I don't know. Maybe I'll kill you. But it'll fucking hurt a lot. Shit. You're a sick fuck, Anthony G46. That being said, sure, I'd love to stab Bert with paper clips. Um, but as far as Elmo, he reminds me the most of my fucked up dad. So I want to kick his ass more than everybody else. The fucking fur, the nose. And he's even more annoying in one aspect, his laugh. That's a fucking annoying ass laugh. <laughs> Shut up, you bitch. I don't care if it tickles. Take it like a man. Yeah. Okay. Now, one thing that actually comes to mind now that I'm reading these Sesame Street letters, as Anthony said earlier, I would love to kick the shit out of my dad. Love it! Would absolutely love it. But, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Um, I've seen several in a lot of different states across the country. Believe me, I've looked. But I don't see any fucking map. It's just a bunch of people. I went to Google Earth. Nothing. Went to MapQuest. Not a goddamn thing! I mean... the fuck? If you know anywhere where I could find Grover... Private message me. I'll get the job done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Anyway, thanks for writing. I have a lot of song requests that I still have on the back burner, which I promise to do when I have more time. But outside of one spare letter that I'm not going to get to until Groover gets back next week, I have no other letters from you guys. I thought you loved me. I'm sad now. I'm going to go online and jack off for a while. I'll see you guys later. Peace.